Nunyango joined the Oambo People's Organization at the age of 22, and his political curiosity tempted him to go into exile at the age of 27. In 1965, the young star left his family and country, committing himself to a long walk into the wilderness with his friend. They were heading to Kavango, and it only took them four days to cover a distance of 160 kilometers. We started our journey into the wilderness. There you walk barefoot, and we were thirsty, but we were already warned in advance to be on the lookout of some of the paths that will lead to some water points. He was one of the people who received military training with the aim of returning to Namibia to educate people about the liberation struggle. He returned to Namibia to carry out the mission the following year. Crossing the borders into Namibia was difficult, but however managed to enter the country, but not without provocation. We were waiting for the sun to go down, because you know that that area was very vast and empty, especially where we were. So we were hiding under the shrubs. While there, we realized that we were surrounded by the South African soldiers, and our aim was to get out of the ring, but it didn't work. Fire broke out between the group of 10 planned fighters and South African soldiers, but in the end, some, including Nunyango, were arrested. After his brief release, Nunyango sneaked into neighboring South Africa, where he was rearrested and sent to the infamous Robben Island prison in 1968. He too was tortured. They wanted me to work with them in exchange for my freedom and put all the blame onto my fellow compatriots, but I flatly refused. And just like anybody else who did not cooperate, he was to be charged as a terrorist and remains in jail. We were locked up at one section called Zing Section. There we suffered. It was very cold, and the blankets were barely flat sheets. You are not even allowed to cover yourself, but to sit on them despite the cold. He was eventually released in 1985 after 17 years and returned to Namibia, where he was tasked to reactivate swapper branches across the country.